on March 7th, 2019, here in Keystone, Colorado, we received 17 inches of snow. This snow would extend the ski season for a lot of areas, including Arapahoe Basin, which stayed open all the way until July. Because of this, I decided that I was going to snowboard every month of 2019, and this is that video as well as a recap of my year on snow. January for me last year was when I went to Park City and I met up with my friend Ryan. This was one of the better powder days I experienced of the season. Oh, I've never skied moguls as deep. Wow. Last year. <laughs> it's officially 4.05 p.m. Still in the chair, still laughing it up. City was a bit of an anti pow day. Everybody caught wind of the powder that Park City received. That is the line to get on the gondola right now. That's insane. This is what 21 inches of powder does to Utah. It's like 11 30 right now. Just waiting in line. Let's see how long this takes. I've never waited in a line this long to get skiing. Update on the line. We are now out of it. Um, there's like a small group of us that are getting a shuttle over from Tombstone Airlift. for my channel, including one video I did of Bergman Bull that is my second video to reach a thousand views ever. So pretty stoked that after a year, um, that video has eclipsed a thousand views. Another video which didn't get nearly as much traction, but that video was seeing how fast I could top out um, at Keystone. in the description below if you want to watch those videos. For the month of March, I ended up flying all the way over to Whistler. I actually didn't film a whole lot because I wanted to just experience the mountain. Um, but one thing is we had a lot of fun shooting footage of these birds who if you just like put your hand out for a granola, they would just fly right onto your hand, super friendly, <laughs> and snag the granola or whatever you had, bread, etc. I'm here with my uh, roommate, Eric, from a yep. few seasons ago, and another Zach. Dang, that 
miles. That's, this is epic, dude. I've never done a run this long, I feel like. Birds are super friendly here in Canada, I guess. They just fly up to your hand if you have food. Um, I've never done this, but I'm gonna try it. it kind of like frightened me when it, right when it landed. Oh my God. Oh, oh that's so weird. Eric is gonna put some food on his head. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna just keep it real stable, all right? You want me to put it on there now? Mm -hmm. Dude, that was like instant. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. One of the probably best lines I had at Whistler was at Flutebowl. So currently I am hiking a Flutebowl. Incredible views. Cheers. Cheers. That's the American dream, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't get any better than that. Except what we're in King's <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! That concludes our uh, time at Whistler on the slopes. Into March, I headed out with my buddy Alex for some backcountry, and I don't do a whole lot of backcountry because I'm not really avalanche certified or anything like that. Um, but the views were just incredible out there, and uh, had some pretty good lines as well. some park footage. I'm not the best park rider, but it is fun just to kind of get some footage and, you know, see where you're at that season. Right now, I am hiking to the summit of Crested Butte.
and I really didn't get that much footage. And a lot of it actually just comes from my Instagram story. Um, but I ended up going to Arapaho Basin late May because they got a huge storm. Up here on the east wall, hike was pretty difficult, pretty steep, about to drop. Um, we also, me and my friends, we ran into some baby foxes, and that was something I'd never seen before. Did not expect to see that on a ski slope. So right here is a little fox den. In June, I literally got one clip of me snowboarding, and it's, again, from my Instagram story, it's a clip of uh, me just writing the day after summer. I was like, hey, I'm snowboarding in summer for the first time. On the 4th of July, I ended up going to Arapaho Basin. It was pretty much the only ski area open, and it was just insane how many people were there. There was no parking at Arapahoe Basin, so this was the line at one of the shuttle spots further down. Finally got my pass. It took about 40 minutes to get this, maybe longer. This is the line for runaway chair, midway on the mountain, and it was just super long. People were so rowdy that day that they started throwing snowballs at people on the chairlift, especially if you didn't pack it full. Right here, they actually stopped the chair to tell people to stop throwing snowballs, but people were just so wild and untamed that day. August was one of the most challenging months to get some turns in on the snow. I had to earn my turns, as they say, and hike up one of the mountains. I decided on 4th of July Bowl in Breckenridge, and it was quite the haul. Um, you can drive up pretty far, but I don't really have a four-wheel drive car, and I didn't want to risk breaking something. So I ended up hiking all the way up 4th of July Bowl, and uh, learning what summer snow, out of terrain, ungroomed, was all about.
right, this is nothing like I expected it. Um, you can see like the snow is like a little red in some spots and it's actually really hard to ride. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna stick out my heel side edge on the steep part and then uh, let it loose a little bit when I get lower. Yeah, the snow sucks. <laughs> Pretty much. Still really cool to say I am snowboarding in August. Snowboarded in August at 4th of July Bowl. We just parked here at uh, the parking lot for St. Mary's Glacier. It's pretty packed. There's a lot of cars fielding in. But luckily I got a spot. And uh, gonna get some snowboarding in for the first time ever in September. I'm here with my friend, Brett. That is St. Mary's Glacier. I am at the top of St. Mary's Glacier. Today is September 21st. And this is the first time skiing ever in September for me. Um, the snow looks like complete shit, <laughs> but let's get it. All right, let's go. <laughs> this was the most difficult snow I've ever ridden because it was not flat at all. And the whole surface had deep grooves, which made it hard to balance with one edge of my snowboard. I fell a bunch riding down, as you can see here. It is currently October 18th, and this is what Keystone looks like. 10 months of the year, I've got two more to go. Usually in November, in Summit County, we are waiting on more snow to fall, and that was the case this year. I went out on this particular day with my friend Matt, who's a snow skater, and I got some footage of him snow skating, and he got some footage of me doing some butters.
catching some early season rope drops out here in Outback. <laughs> Completely fresh. The highlight of December for me was catching new terrain rope drops in the Outback. I got some GoPro perspective footage, but my best footage was of my friend Kevin. Thank you.